answer. Hello, how is everyone doing this wonderful night, day, evening, afternoon? Whichever, depends on the parlor world, there are too many times playing time zones to mention right now. And welcome to the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Randomizer. And well, we'll get into, well, as you can tell it's randomized music, we'll get into that more later on, but, uh, Majora's Mask Randomizer was created in 2019 now by a few T's, main developer being Zoe Zolotova, I believe. Um, just a few things before we start, a few things aren't randomized, those will include sword, your sword, your shield, and your starting what? Those will always be with you at the start. Song of Time and Song of Storm you also have from the start. You will also start with a random randomized song. We'll get into that when necessary. Um, as for a few checks that are not randomized, uh, the few places that will never be randomized are going to be the Frog Song in Mountain Village Spring and the Andrew and Cafe side quest, uh, which takes the entire three days. And the and the three day mini games will also be never be randomized. That's everything you need to say, uh, know about what is and isn't randomized, so... Uh, let's get a start on this in just a moment. So, I'm gonna give you guys a countdown and we will start with that countdown. Starting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. So, uh, in the opening cinematic, which I also skipped, you can see what is on the clock tower. On the clock tower is a 50... F ooh, a 50... Uh, it's a 50 rupee, so... We don't need to do that. We don't need that. Cool. Uh, and our starting randomized song is... New Wave Bossa Nova. So let's mark that off. And on the tree, we've got 20 rupees. You guys about to see, like, the most forbidden tech in Majora's Mask, right here. That is forbidden, I mean it's allowed. I just call it forbidden because I've never seen anyone do it. You better see a sequence break, 3, 2, 1, and B. You can... so... The advantage to checking this is that Tingle will have two items. And one of them is, I believe, 20. Ooh, nope, it's 40. Our Razor Sword is there though, and we will get that later on when the time comes. Okay, now here's the main thing with MMR. Uh, so, for those who are familiar with Ocarina Time Randomizer, that game has Way of the Hints and Baron Locations. Way of the, uh, way of the Heroes are hints are going to help you, so let's see what he, he, we have here. P uh, Pirate's Fortress Interior. Boat Archery is dead. Boat Archery is dead. And he's clocked down, okay. So... And East Clock Town. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm not sure if my tracker is on the stream layout, but uh, a lot of important information is there. Goron Race is also dead. That is one thing I'm always happy to see, because Goron Race is just terrible. Uh, so there are some mini games that are always going to be hinted with Majora's Mask Randomizer, and oh, I messed up there. Uh, Boat Archery is one of those random. Is one of those um, but archery is one of those mini games that are always hinted. So I'm gonna mark that off. And yep, and Goron Race because that was also dead. Cool. Let's see what this hint gives us. Butler, that's also dead. Okay. That's a long mini game. Well, it's more of a race, but it helps. Butler is also another mini game that will always be hinted in every seed. Okay, you can see the tracker. Cool. There's also a uh, thing, a Excel spreadsheet to have up right now, which also has everything, which should hopefully be visible. So, uh, East Clock Town has a sock pot in which has eight checks. Oh, a bow, nice. Uh, thing is. Uh, East Clock Town and the, and the Stockpot Inn are considered separate locations. If East Clock, if the Stockpot Inn were included, East Clock Town would have a good um, I want to say, 
16 locations. That was a pretty clean terminal field first entrance. There are two ways to do uh, terminal field in randomizer. One is from the south entrance and one is from the north entrance. I prefer to do north entrance so you get an easy few hints there. As well as a free 50 rupees from that Sodongo. And piece of hearts, okay. Not what I would not what I would prefer, but they're always welcome. Yeah, it's a good rando. Like most Zelda randos are actually pretty spectacular, and here is where Castle Music really shines. So custom music can go anywhere from Zelda to Persona to um, even classical music, which may or may not pop up later on, depending on what was randomized. Uh, and the custom music is all community made. Uh, this was not one of my arrangements. Uh, one of my arrangements are guaranteed to show up because it's like the only one within its slot, but we'll get to that when it's necessary. Thank you. Uh, so, um, when it comes to clock sound, one thing you always want to do is do the minigames ASAP. So, since East Clock Town is Way of the Hero, doing a minigame like now is probably like the best thing you can do. Whoops. So, for this, we only need a hit. You, you, and you, and we'll hit you, and there we go, 40, we need at least 40 for the mirror shield, so that's going to lead us to a song later on when the time comes, mark that on the tracker, cool, and now let's go check Madame Aroma, because she's likely going to have something left for us. So normally I would do the mini game later on, but since I got the bow super early, I figured it's a way it's just better now to get it now to um to do it now. Oh, I forgot you are here. Cool. Please stop talking so I can talk to Aroma. They're probably gonna leave at like twelve o'clock, and that's gonna be like a big time sink for us. This is another song. This is Snowboard Kids. For those unaware, please stop talking. Thank you. Not you. And we get Don Gero's mask. That we do not we will never use. Don Gero's mask is used for the frog song in Mountain Village Spring, which as I had said earlier, is always going to be disabled because it's just monotonous of the requirements to even, you know, do it. Okay, cool. We're gonna fast forward to two o'clock. Three o'clock is even Three o'clock also works. Okay, Angie, can you please shut up now? I need to talk to your grandmother so she can put me to sleep for a good two hours. As you can tell, there's a lot going on right now, and uh, yeah, keep up with this because it's gonna just keep at this pace the entire time. Piece of heart, okay. We'll just get this. Normally it would enter from down here, but this route was a bit was very clearly different. One, two, three, one, two. I'm just gonna angle this up. You're gonna see another sequence break, and I didn't do it right. So with this game, some things have no collision from the bottom, uh, as you can tell, and we have broken logic. What do we get from it though? Bomber's Notebook. I wish I hadn't gotten that. <laughs> uh, Bomber's Notebook in this randomizer does one thing and that is waste time. Yeah. Yeah, Ocarina Time 3D Rando. I'm surprised it's even a thing, honestly. I would have never have expected that in a million years. So first cycles in Majora's Mask randomizer uh, tend to be 
How to put it? They tend to differ in length. And we will see how just how this goes. Red potion, okay. So here's a little history lesson. Uh, some people actually wouldn't do so. On day two in the Southern Swamp, there you get an extra check. Some people, some people, not all, but some people do skip it if you get if you don't get a bottle at all because that's a letter to Mama. Some people would skip it if they didn't get a bottle because that like limits them out of one check. It's probably best to check it. So, yep. Because uh, you do get two, item, two items out of it regardless, even without a bottle. And, yeah. Bomb shop. Okay, so we're going to learn to count to 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Cool. Oh, room key. So, that's like, so if you count to 9, so depending on the triangles above the postman's head, if you count to 19, uh, sometimes. Usually that works and is enough indication of um, when the exact 10 second mark is, uh, but it doesn't always work. And that is wrong. Ah, oh, crap. I have overridden one of the parts in the tracker. And another piece of heart. Okay, cool. Yes, well, tick, 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 tick does not happen anymore since that is more consistent. A long time ago, I used to actually count with count to ten using ticks, and that was not very consistent. Also, hi, mighty. Uh, is room key on the tracker? Yes, it is. I will mark that off shortly. So we're going to get another hint now, uh, in the form of this. PF exterior, I think we already... Okay, so Pirates Fortress interior and exterior. Both way of the hero. No, oh, let's come on, and yep, cool. I'm just going to like... Yep, cool, I got you, and I got you both. Cool, let's not do that any go anymore. So Jodongos are extremely deadly for whatever reason. I don't like this one. I don't like these ones because they're kind of mean like that. Oh, cool! They just defect defeated each other. Well, uh, yep, cool. That saves me a bunch of time actually. And from this we get a silver rupee. Okay, cool. We get a hundred rupees uh, upon a hundred rupees. Link cuts through everything with ease, it's kind of amazing. Uh, so, when it comes to the bank, 
uh, the bank has been the amount of money needed for the bank has been lowered. So instead of being uh, 200, 500, and 5,000, now it's 200, 200, 500, 1,000 for the maximum checks. Uh, now we're going to go set up a warp point in Milk Road for future reference. Nope, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I thought I would be dead though. Actually, health would be appreciated. Thank you. And butler here. Okay, we already checked the butler though. Cool. Let's set up a new walk point and then we shall kill time. How we will kill time, I know how, and we will worry about that when time gets and when we get there. I'm not sure if I will have enough time to do what I want to do, but we should. Uh, stockpot in, okay, never mind, we are not killing time. <laughs> Uh, so I was actually going to check what the hat, what the spare room in the stockpot in had, but I'm not going to be doing that now. Cool. Did my arrow just go completely through the balloon? Slashing time may be more effective, doesn't mean it's the better option though. Cool. Uh, we're going to just start a mini game with these little brats, and we're also going to save an old lady from getting uh, robbed. And double defense, okay. Uh, so, that may be good, that may be bad. <laughs> Depends on how you see it. Double defense is good because it's double defense. Double defense is bad because if you need to do like a, um, a void warp, a death warp, well, it just takes longer to die. And let's prepare here. Because the old lady is coming now and she is about to get robbed by Sarkon from Ikana Village. And we have saved her from officially getting robbed. Nice going. And we don't need that mask. And that's how, um,. That's how the bomber's notebook say wastes time. He just puts that there. Especially good when you find out it's in a bad location, which we unfortunately did not find out. And that Goron just like. Maybe mess up timing, nice. Boom. Okay, let's go check. Okay, so uh, the bomb shop has two checks you can make. And the first one was letter to Mama, the second one is a red ruby, which we shall ignore. And the kid ran away. Gotcha. Cool. 
cool. Uh, so most people won't check this area without bombs, but we are going to anyway, because may as well. Uh, so you don't need, I don't think you need the um, password to get, well, you evidently don't need the password to get into here, but logically I'm not sure if, it, if you do need the password to get into here. And let's just get rid of that balloon because it's annoying. And do you guys want to be? Do you guys like? Do you like guys like Seven Granddad? Because yeah, this is another custom song someone made. It is the most blessed thing I've ever heard. Oh, cool, and that's another piece of heart we're not going to check. So we got that guy out, so we're going to wait to look at, his, uh, look at this hole now. It's such a nice deep hole. Um, so, on top of the custom music, multiple songs are in each slot, however, whenever a seed is generated, only uh, the song only plays in one spot uh, until you generate yet another seed. In this case, uh, you're always going to be hearing Realm Overworld for a world map theme. Dampay digging leaves a bottle with milk, okay. That's yet another one of the always hinted, of the always hinted checks. And now... Uh, let's go and check more stuff. I've already played a minigame. And it's not... So, um, I've had it uh, happen before where the minigame song is never going to give you up. Unfortunately, this time around, it's not never going to give you up. So, Maite, I am sorry to disappoint you, or I am pleased to disappoint you, but never going to give you up is not going to be playing this time around. Instead, it's last surprise. So, we're going to go to the door on the second day, wake up this P hat. Yeah, it really is, though. Spirit tracks had nothing of value, honestly. I mean, trains are cool, I guess. So, um, there is a trick where you can, like, have a Deku Stick. I just don't know how to do it, and I don't have any Deku Sticks, so, like, I'm just gonna be doing it this slow way. Uh, the MIDI, actually, for Hate Not The Wind. So, I was doing a range before of Hate Not The Wind, uh, from Toho Book of Star Mythology, and turns out the MIDI, the MIDI for that is just broken. So, oops. I can't do that, unfortunately. I don't know what I don't know the anti piracy messages in the spirit tracks. Enlighten me, please. Oh, that sounds that sounds cool. I got the MIDI from. I'm not sure. Oh no, I mean like the MIDI internally is not working, like it'll play just fine, but internally it's just like bleh, broken. It's busted. Okay, so let's us check this. Zora's mask, okay. That's a good find, usually. And guess what? It's like it's required to be the game or something. Oh god, piece of hearts. And land title deed, okay. No, I didn't get it from Machine Go Nest, I got it from Game Banana. So the ranch sisters is yet another hint that's always yet another thing that's always hinted. That is Deku Mask up there, and I want that, but I'll come get it later.
Well is foolish. Thank God. So, well just has three checks, but they're all annoying, so you don't want to do them. So let's hear. So, okay, so my say, let's see look, if we can get this re muted. Oh, uh, yep. No, sorry. Uh, no. Never gonna give you up here. Oh, with the beautiful vocals of Malin slash um, Romani as well. And that's that. Also, uh, the estimate is of... Yeah, we're not going to mute the stream, don't worry. I don't think any... There is nothing copyrighted here. Plus, uh, my stream uses these songs all the time and they... And it's never been muted. So it's... So you're all fine. Um... And done. That's a PB for me. Um... Yeah. What were they talking about? Oh cool, uh, that's 99 rupees. Uh, what did your ZR, Z1R one have then? Hey, 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 bye. Okay, I need to sneak at these other bats because they are. Okay, let's just like. do nothing but annoy them so they can come from us. And that's Deku Mask, like we want. Fall straight into that hole and get... Keaton Mask. Okay, we will check that out shortly. get our razor sword and something else here. Okay, we're only gonna get our razor sword here. You need caffeine, dude. I'm dude this oh yeah uh, it is 107 a.m. for me if you think you need caffeine. Um, so, let's just hit that, and we are going to pop by, uh, Clock Town and deposit money. We're also going to play a mini game. So I'll put in 60, yep, I'll just put in 60, no, uh, 59 into the bank. Okay, nope, it was 69, I, was just, I wasn't imagining it. And we're going to get another uh, item now. Which is... Oh, land title deed. Oh, it must have been swamp deed that I saw on, um... Here. Yeah, 
There we go. So we're gonna. So we are about to learn uh, Majora's Mask stuff. Just some general knowledge. No. I hope you all take notes. This will be on the test. Uh, that would be a bonus song. Mailboxes. There are five. Uh, quick to apologize. Tortoise. Uh, five members of the Indiegogos and Ice Arrows. That is a required item. So now let's check this because you also get an item from checking this place with a in a uh, non-human form. And that was worth nothing. I've been playing this randomizer for about a year now. I try as the view and like, yeah, I'm not good at this game, so I decided to learn the game, and I did. Uh, so this is a trick you probably see in speedruns all the time. Uh, this randomizer is not new friendly though. You have to like really grind it if you want to like get into it. Okay, that's enough. And we are gonna just fall down. You know, like that song from Undertale that everyone likes called Fallen Down. You have not seen the start of it. There are some locations in this randomizer where you just have to, just have to know exist. Otherwise, you would not even think to check it. To be fair, my take is correct, but I think I might just do a bit of a safer strat this time around. And that's a piece of heart. Go to the swamp. Let's hand in that land title deed. Because that's going to give us an item, laser. an item that may benefit us. May even be magic. It's a heart container. Okay, cool. So, on day two in the Woods of Mystery, there is an additional grotto which houses an item. So, people usually avoid um, avoid Southern Swamp day two until. Yeah, people usually just avoid Southern Swamp until day two so they can get that extra item within here. Seahorses is dead. Okay. Seahorse is a hint that is only only appears sometimes, that should be all times. Because it just takes so long to do. And there's fire arrows. All we need is light arrows and hook shots and we could Light arrows and hook shots, and in terms of items, we could beat the game. We just need, to, in terms of masks, we could not beat the game. So before giving this sum, um, which the red potion, you always want to like decline it, and then go back to the other witch. Because if you heal it and then go back to this one, you will not get the item out of it. Which is... Adult Wallet. So, remember how earlier I said that the bank money has been changed, so you only need 1,000 instead of 5,000? Um... In terms of logic and how this randomizer works, the game does not expect you to like bank uh, one thousand uh, unless unless you have a wallet upgrade. So now the game does expect you to bank one thousand rupees. 
It's just a matter of getting to 1,000 rupees. Light arrows would be really good when it comes to that. Uh, yep, swamp. The game could also right now be expecting us to go to the mountains, which we're gonna like hold off on for a second. All night mask, we will not need that since uh we will not need that since Stockpot Inn is foolish. And I went too close. And we are just going to do Goron at the Deku Palace now, since we have Deku Mask. And this is an original composition from the ROM hack, uh, the, the missing link. That's faster than talking to the Deku guard, that's why I do it. Link, tree, please get around it. Why did you have to do- you're going the full marathon, my goodness, okay. Uh, so let's check here. So this area has two items, and we are going to buy two magic beans from this place, as well as get this item of magic. So, normally, I would. So, most casual people would actually use that magic bean in the outside of the pal palace to get to the monkey, but we have faster ways of doing things here. And that's not. And that has no bearing on the faster way whatsoever. There we go. Crap. So this usually is faster than talking to the Deku guards if you don't suck. You okay, so I'll say this now, I can't actually use the choo the bomb chews. Bomb shoes are actually unusable in this game until you have the bomb bag, unlike Ocarina where there's like when they are always usable, even without the bomb bag. Okay, what's the item here? That is either that's a wallet or a bomb bag. I'm getting a message, give me a moment. Cool, sometimes I get uh, messages from family at this time and I just like tell me to be quiet because it is late, to be fair. That's a bomb bag, yeah, let's go get it. So I just want to make sure it's not me being too loud. <laughs> okay, so 
So I'll just wait, wait, wait. Bombs. Okay, now let's just do exactly the same thing we did a moment ago. Good morning, welcome to Game Over Cancer 2021 Spring. Uh, hope you are doing well. Okay, let's try and make this cycle. We will not make this cycle. I was a bit too hopeful there. Okay, yep. Okay, now we can definitely make this cycle because it's not high enough. That's not what I want to do. Song of Storms, okay, that's exactly what you don't want to see. Uh, Song of Storms has exactly one use in Randomizer. And, um, it's useless. Um, and the only time you can use it is if you also have the Song of Healing. <coughs> so seeing it isn't exactly a good thing. Okay, 20 rupees. Cool. Uh, so we're gonna go check Woodfall now. We can't enter the temple, so we're just gonna be checking the surrounding areas. And okay, let's go. These dragonflies are such a nuisance in this area. So, checking this on the storing tablets in standard mode will always give you a recovery heart. Uh, but, um, in other modes where some of storing is not randomized, I think it will give you an item depending on where it is. Depending on what it is. Speaking of recovery heart, there is another one. I spit on you. I spit on you some more. And hey, Deku Sticks. So, custom music does have this one issue sometimes where it will just stop completely. And that's like, not good. Because custom the custom music in this game is actually super good. Set the hour for Woodstone, for Woodfall, and... Kick, and it is... Yet another piece of hearts. I believe Majora's Mask, out of all those Zelda games, has the highest count of pieces of hearts at like 48 or something like that. So, you get to see a lot of pieces of heart in this randomizer. Things that are always pieces of hearts, I believe, include Frog Song. Uh, and the Andrian Cafe check. Oh yeah, and the four moon checks, because, well... There's no point in randomizing those. And wood four was foolish. Nice. Okay, yeah, let's do this.
And now let's go to Romani Ranch, because it's been open on day three. So Romani Ranch is like hint heaven because like all of these hints PF interior, yep. Yeah. There's the one over there. And we're gonna go check that one over there. And that is... Oh my god, we act... Okay. So, cake being on... So, powder cake is an item that is more often than not required. And it is in a location I don't like doing. For the sole reason of it's a long place to do. It's a long location. But it looks like we, ha we may have to, We very likely will do it. Uh, Zora Link is like so widely loved by dogs, evidently. Okay, camera was being weird there. Please don't fall off. Um, that is Red Rupee. Cool. There's more stuff to bank. Swamp Spider House is also one of the many hints in this randomizer that it's always hints at every seed. So, uh, Dog Race is within the dog race is a place where items are usually randomized into oh uh, where items are randomized into but doing it without the well doing it without the mask of truth is just a waste of your time because mask of truth makes it a win 100 makes the golden dog win 100 percent of the time So the only so we are missing just two hints now. Uh, the th so there are three foolish hints each time. We're missing the third hint. We have the stop pot in the well, and the ocean spider hints is the other one we're missing. Actually, uh, let's do something different. We have new a bossa nova. So this is another. So gossip stones are another thing that can be hinted only sometimes. And we're going to be doing it since we are doing it on that. Since everywhere we are going will be on the way. Okay, so this is what we got the other bean, the other magic bean for. Because this can sometimes be a required item, like hookshot, which you kinda always want. It's like it's kinda required, you know? But nope, it's just more power, which I am not gonna be complaining about. Oh, uh, let's get 100. Okay, so I do want at least 100 rupees. For what's about to come up, because... I made to make a purchase. 98. Of course, just, just two more will do, thanks, game. Okay, so this deck is scrub usually sells something for 150 rupees, but if you decline him, he will give, you to, for, give it to you for 100. A red rupee. Let's not buy that, because I don't like it. Uh, 
Okay, so... Just a few places more and then we are going to be advancing to the final day. So right now, this is what people consider a slow first cycle. Most people like to keep their first cycle within the first 50 minutes, but I usually extend it to like an hour to an hour to an hour if necessary. Because, spoiler alert, most of the time it is necessary, I'm forgetting to do a minigame. Let's do that minigame. Okay, so entering this minigame as Zora, uh, as Deku, will remove half the targets. So, usually you want to, like, enter that minigame, enter this room on day three as a Deku. And let's get some more Persona up in here. There we go. Unfortunately, we're missing the best Persona Fox song of all time as uh, custom music, that being P4 Dancing Specialist. And it's a heart container, something I just don't want to see. So let's do this, this, this. And night of the final day. So let's give him the letter to Mama, and while he's delivering that, we shall go do other things. Like get money and uh, go to the mountains for a relaxing holiday, nothing else. Oops. Pardon me. I would like to deposit money. So let's uh, just mark this gossip stone. That's actually so hard to play fast, I can't explain. Especially with the C stick. But being Zora gives us an extra two checks within Terminal Field, which we are going to go check now. One of them requires bombs, and the other does not. So let's go check both of them. I don't need that. Jump over here. And check this last chest. Another bomb bag. I swear I've been finding bomb bags there non-stop recently. 
Okay, let's go do the last Gossip Stone check, and then head towards the mountains. Before even doing the powder keg check that is within the swamp spider house, I am going to want to find Goron Mask because otherwise it would have no real effect. Speaking of, ooh, that's actually not required but just helpful. So, okay, cool. One thing Majora's Mask Randomizer has as a quality of life feature is if you are using the bow and press the R button, it will shuffle to the next. Which in this instance is fire, after that it will be eyes, after that it will be lights. Because since that's the order you get them in, and that's how the three elemental hours usually are treated anyway. He's clock down way the hero. I know that, thank you very much, I do appreciate the help though. Yeah, it's one of the best quality of life features in, in this um within Rando, honestly. Okay, so this is the mountain village. We have a few more checks we can make here. Nice. That has no real advantage other than like doing nothing. Um, so, let's see what Tingle has here, I don't think he'll have anything of worth. People usually skip that Tingle cause reasons. I think if you're here first, you may as well check that specific tingle anyway. Because usually people will usually put it off until Great Bay. I think I miscounted a heart. Yeah, I did. Cool. So we're about to find out the truth. Uh, will I need to do... I may not need to do, um... Amy Alien Defense and Crimea's Carriage? Okay, and Silver Ruby, I will not need to give you money as a Goron. You know, when the time comes. So I don't know the path here yet, but this path here different uh, changes depending on the day, so... You know. Oh. 
I tried. Also, this is one. This is like one song I created uh, for M MMR. So, yay! This is a arrangement of Palazzo Dances by Alexander Borodin. Kick the chest. Kick this chest. Cool, and this chest that I completely missed. Goodbye. So, uh, it looks like we are indeed going to be doing the Swamp Spider House now. Now you're going to see a bunch of Goron rolling because Goron Mask is the fastest, more, uh, fastest form of movement within this game. Also just open up a bunch of places for me to check, which we actually will be doing in this cycle. And there's a Quiver upgrade. We will be slowing down time though, because there's so much to check now. Song of Healing, oh my god. I think that's at least, I think that's the, uh, yeah, and yep, I'm not confused, that was indeed healing. That song of healing does give us yet another check. Available on all days, but only only beyond midnight. So, uh, guess what we're doing later after this check? So, I'm just trying to think right now. We guaranteed need the powder keg because that's our only form of access. And it's going to give us either Goron Lullaby, Sonata of Awakening, or a Pona's Song. This also means that we will need to find every song within the seed in order to uh, uh, proceed. So that means we need to find the captain's hat, which is an item that's not very nice to find usually. Da 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 da
rid of rubies. Exactly what we don't need because we have like a number of rubies already. So ideally, I want to make it back to Clock Town before there's one hour remaining because on the last hour, that postman we gave the letter to, he usually runs away on the last hour, within the last hour remaining. Cool, we don't need that. Here's one of the checks I learnt, uh, only existed in Randomizer. Okay, that adds another check, but we can only do that next cycle. So yeah, this is a pretty long first cycle. As people consider it, uh, let's go to Clock Town. Oh, God. Oh, it's in good finds, definitely. But motes per cycle are like much shorter than this. This is actually what would be considered a bad first cycle, if anything. I mean, good finds, yes, but mm, lengthwise, it's not good. And that's yet another check I've only learned through randomizer, and that's nothing cool. There are two checks we're going to make before resetting time. <gasps> no, there's another one I need to make uh, before it's too late. So let's see what let's see what Kamara gives us. required, now I know where it is. In day three, uh, in the stockpot inn, you would usually check the staff room because that's open uh, on day th on night three. But since it will, yeah. since the inn is a foolish location, we do not need to check it. This is our last check, and then we are going back to day one. Oops. So, uh, we are going to be doing the, um, the ocean spider, uh, the swamp spider house. Swamp spider house with it, without the hook shot is something I've not done in a long time. 
so this is gonna be very, very slow. Okay, I'll just get some like guaranteed arrows at that sound. on this in Milk Road, but it's a bit late now. So if you take a picture of Tingle or the Deku King, you will get a special reward from this guy in here. box is what Tingle is worth, except the games, the Tingle games are actually worth more I'd say, because they're not bad. Also, this is a wonderful song. It's an arrangement of, uh, it's called Silent Lights from Chrono Trigger. Let's stay down here because there are skeletons down here. house is collect 50 sculptural tokens. Where is that one? I have. What the heck? Uh, we shall briefly retreat. That's the wrong place to have walked to. Okay. I think I've got five, I'll just leave it at five for now. Okay, we I want a magic bean. I have never I don't think I've ever done that ha I don't think I've ever done. Uh, swamp Spider House uh, with that hook shot, so doing it like this is a bit odd for me. Oh. 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 
Come on, in there. Good. This should be the last magic beam we need though. Yeah, okay, so this is how you this was how you do it. Cool. for every room in this house as to whether or not you have missed the sculpture in a room and it is just that sound of that Yep, there we go. Okay, yeah, uh, I think I may need, I think I may use a fall down for this. Actually, wait. Okay, that's just in the perfect spot. Okay, so we're gonna be coming back to this room later on, so... Link, turn around. Okay, yep, we need to go back now. <laughs> While I'm here, I may as well just get one of these. This is my worst spider house in a while. I just blame Hookshot for not- I just blame Hookshot for having not appeared. I'm willing to bet money that um hook shots on like bank on the third bank. Actually, it could also be within Forest Temp- uh, within Woodfall Temple, or Snowhead Temple. Can't be in any of the other temples. You could say I'm banking on it. Don't know why I just didn't do this in the first place, since it's much, much, much less risky. Let's just do this. 
Okay, looks like I will indeed need to go back and get some... Mountain Village is foolish, okay? Oh my god. Okay, fine then, be that way. What? There is also a sculpture or two in here. Cool, it was neither of those. How about this? How about this? that one? Because I know there is, I know for a fact there is one in there. Okay, nope, it's just this one. Today I learned you need two magic beans for Swamp Swire House. Uh, but no. Uh, Swamp, you could not be in Swamp Spider House. Uh, earlier we had established that on, upon clearing it, you will be given the powder keg. Because, yes. There are no chests in Swamp Spider House to check either, so it can't be in there either. Oh yeah, you can't pick up things because you're weak. <laughs> Oh, I know what one it is, it's that one. And now I have very little amount of arrows. Which isn't ideal, but I think there is a place in like a second, in a moment where I will be able to um, up the amount.
Oh no. You like always have something come out. Okay, is it this one then? So I kind of need more than one arrow. And whoops, that was an exact. Oh, that's an. That's the, that's an accident. Oh my god, I just need an arrow. Doesn't look like there are any arrow pots in here. Like, what the hell? You are required to have arrows, but the, the game devs didn't decide to put arrows here. Wasting more time, fellas. Hopefully, we don't some. Um, hopefully, four hours is enough time. There we go. I have a bit of a nagging feeling as well that I've missed one. Oh, I know the one I'm missing, supposedly. My god, okay, I just don't know what the ones, what hives these are in. Let's just put a preemptive 30 there. Just, you know, for, for victory celebration. Pardon me, I would like to talk to you, sir. So, this will give us either a Ponason, Sonata of Awakening, or Goron's Lullaby. Now we're going to talk to Malin, who was, no, uh, Romani, who was giving us the vocals earlier for, what's it called? The vocals for La Surprise. Okay, let's see what this song is. Okay, cool. It's this one. Okay, 
So I am bad at this mini game, as anyone, as you all can tell. My aim has often been compared to stormtroopers, and it is, and very rightfully so. See. So, Goron Lullaby. Okay. Oh, idiots. We just need to know what is behind the swamp spider, no, the ocean spider house check uh, to know what's if I should do day one there because yeah, ocean spider house may also be required. It's always a check no one wants to do, so it's always good when the game hints it as nothing. If I have to do it, I will need a hook shot. I can't enter it without a hook shot. Okay, so that is a miss. So this dungeon is infinitely faster with a hook shot, but um, well, don't exactly have one. So I'm going to be making a slight detour as well to get yet a different key. It's a key I normally would don't get, but uh, unless I'm already in go mode, which I am not. So uh, with dungeons. There's current discussion going on within the community as to whether or not dungeon should have random uh, should have their keys shuffled. Uh, I believe they should, but as is for the moment, dungeon keys are not shuffled. So yeah, we're playing with vanilla key locations. It's just discussion happening within the community though at the moment, so whether or not it will eventually get uh, implemented into the standard rule sets uh, is talks for another day. But uh, shuffling in. Okay. The thing is with shuffling within this is that Majora's Mask's dungeon design is very one-sided, I'd say. People think it's good. I personally think that people think it's like impossible to do. I think it's very easily possible because uh, there have been examples of it where it has been like good or bad. Uh, Swamp uh, Stone Tower is a bit of a mess because it has like nine chests to check, but hey, it's Stone Tower. It's the last dungeon. What do you expect? We actually have a donation from Chuckles141 donating five dollars. Chuckles141 threw money at the allies fighting cancer. Thank you Chuckles, we appreciate that. And if you have uh, any incentives that you want them to go to, uh, please let us zoom in now. Uh, so dungeon sh uh, key shuffling is already a thing in Ocarina of Time 3D and it has no issues there. I think so, so 
people keep comparing this and key shuffling to Ocarina 3D, which I think is like a bad precedent, a, like a bad thing considering these games are completely different beasts when randomized. But yeah, that's just my two cents on the top. I think it should be allowed, but that's my two cents on the topic. Okay, so this dungeon has had nothing good for us so far. So if you had a hook shot, what you would do right normally is just Okay, yeah, that's bad. Uh you would just like hook shots to a room above. But we don't have hook shots, so we're not doing that. We're gonna be doing this dungeon that dev intended away as disgusting as it may sound. Holy sh That was in that was interesting. Okay, so I think I like dumbed out. Uh, I, you don't actually need an extra key. I just, my brain just died. It's a it's a daily thing that happens. So get used to my brain dying. I was generally considering this, uh, doing this with uh, sh shuffled keys, uh, but looks like we're a uh, bit behind schedule, so at the end of the day I discovered, hey, we we'll probably, we'll probably won't do this with shuffled keys considering I don't, I haven't done it before. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, that is like the worst place you could have spawned. Crap. Oops, wrong way. That's actually a l deceptively hard. I cannot, ex I cannot explain just how hard that actually is. Okay, so we're about to take on our first boss, which will guarantee give us Epona song. So what's the boss song for today? Because there's like five boss songs you can choose from the pool. Ah, oh, Ocarina of Time, um, stand boss music. Four, five, six, eight. Well, your, this fight's going to be a lot different than your record being. That's not the recommended way to do it. <laughs> um, there, you you actually can get hit that way, and I have been hit that 
it that way by doing it that by doing the, the boss that way many times. Uh, that used to be the strat back in like 08, but now it's been implemented, so it's like guaranteed to work every time. That's a bonus song. And that is Lens of Truth. visits a clock town. I want to get the powder keg because um, powder keg has one of the u two other uses in randomizer. Uh, sometimes it is required to get into the um, sometimes it is required to get into the um, one sec, my brain is dying again. Into the Icona Castle boss fight. Uh, but since we... You know... But... Because we... And it's still, actually, it still may be required. Give me a sec, I wanna read this. Cool. But because if we find the light arrows, we will not need to, to get into the Icona Castle boss fight. But because, but if we do find it, uh, then we won't need it to get into that boss fight. That boss fight is necessary as well, as it's the one, it's the sole use for mirror shield within this seed. As far as we can, as far as we know for now. So, we blow that up just so we can get a prize earlier. Attack, okay. So ideally doing Snowhead Temple as the first dungeon would be good because you get a bunch of items within this area as well. Oops. Okay, cool. Well, we drowned. Because that wolf also pushed us out of the way like an absolute pain in the bum. And also, um, this Begoron here, instead of giving you a powder keg, well, he will still give me a powder keg. But he likes. But if the um, uh, powder keg trial is done, uh, you don't have to do it. It's used, usually is faster to do it um, if you have the powder keg already. Uh, that's how you do it, and. Okay. We're gonna deposit that immediately. Uh, Okay, let's go to the bay now because, yep, items. Great Bay has a few items uh, that may be good for us.
and Song of Healing uh, gives us an additional check as well. Uh, but due to a lack of hookshot, there is three checks we will not be able to make at the moment. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mark goats on the tracker. Whoops. Okay, masks. So, what mask you need to beat the game can vary. Because a mask can be locked behind another mask. But the masks you need uh, will be... Uh, Deku Mask, Gora Mask, Zora Mask, either Gibdo Mask or Gara Mask. Uh, and yeah, those. You need either, you need those masks. Actually, uh, yeah, that's all you need. Captain's Hat is, can be required, but isn't, this, isn't always required. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you don't need that many masks to beat the game. It's good though, because Zora uh, Gora Mask is your fastest form of movement, and it is um, required to beat the game. So that's a good thing. Where the hood at? Everyone, anyone know where the hood at? And that is another quiver, I will take it. Okay. What you got, single? dollar donation from Vanix. Never play games with Goron. Always play games with Goron. Save the Goron. Assuming Goron's a cinnamon animals? Question mark? Thanks, Vanix. <laughs> okay, so now Mikau here usually is, point is pointless unless you have Song of Healing, which we do have. Uh, so thankfully we can check that. So let's see, let's see, let's see. We're just okay, so last seed I did have my captain's hat on Mikau, so let's see if we can continue the trend of having a good thing on Mikau. No. Uh, now, here's another interesting tidbit about the Swamp Spider House. Uh, there is a chest in there that is locked behind a code combination which you use arrows to shoot. Turns out that code combination you will you will need the captain's hat to check it so you can talk to the other sculpture uh Salphos in there. because uh, that's how you get the combination. Uh, I used it to brute force it, but Okay, there's the there's our last hint. I like to brute force it, but we don't ever you don't you will never ever need it. Um You don't need it to get the combination, you can just boost, boost force it, but personally I like to do it only after finding the cabin tats. Cool, that's kind of memory, you don't need that. Oh. 
Ew. Okay, I don't like that. Cafe is the last as one thing, which is like add like yet another check, uh, which I don't really like doing because it's just annoying. So, I was actually considering uh, dipping into Great Bay Temple and just dipping into it nothing more. Then I remembered, oh wait, I need Hookshot to get into it. This is a song we may have heard earlier in, um, one second. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Uh, the song that the band member here is playing is a track we may have heard earlier from Panzer Dave's Zelda 1 run. Not sure if we'll get to hear much of it. Leave. We have nothing of worth or value in here. Okay. So there is, yeah, the, the hook box. Yeah, the hitbox on this clan is just amazing. So these are checks I also didn't know about until randomizer. Please stop talking, you two. checks before we uh, check them all within the Great Bay uh, Coast in the general area.
I'm considering adding more songs to this track, to this uh, position, because, oh my god, the race song from Mario RPG is not that exciting. the wrong song. <laughs> so, I'm genuinely considering doing... I'm, I'm running low on checks here. I am genu genuinely considering... Um... Doing the Kremia and the Romani minigame, uh, the Kremia and Romani checks. Actually, it could be within Pirate's Fortress as well, because those are Way of the Hero. Pirate's Fortress interior and exterior are Way of the Hero, so I need to break both those checks eventually. Plus, uh, I need all songs, so... Hookshot is likely within those area. So... Yeah, we'll check there right after this. I'll deliver these eggs to the laboratory as one has to, and then I'll go check those two areas. Plus, I left the easiest to get to egg um, within this area, so right after that, we'll just go and do that. two eggs, there's like one more check, uh, one more chest in here, and then we'll go towards Pirate's Fortress. I just realized Okay, um, I just realized that checking that, uh, that, ch uh, uh, the, com the cafe's mask check I just did with Andrew is pointless because Stockpot Inn has no items that are worth it, as given my hints earlier on in the run. So, oops. Okay, so let's go to the Pirate's Fortress after this then. Pirate's Fortress is somewhere... I probably should have checked it earlier because... Pirate's Fortress has a lot of checks. It's usually... The second you've accessed Pirate's Fortress, ideally you want to go there. Oh 
yeah, I'll also have a second bottle and Kamara's mask. So let's list those off. Uh, let's check what's up there on that ledge. Because that could be another required item. Okay, uh, you can actually peek through this ledge sometimes. But only as Zora. Because uh, as any other form, you're not tall enough to look up enough. And that's a uh, red ruby, so we're not going to get it. This Garo's mask, okay. So, all we need now would be the hook shots to get access to Icana. Stay down, stay down, stay down. I'm just gonna wait for this boat to pass. Open this gate, and now let's continue on. Wrong form, okay, let's go. Whoops, I pressed something on my keyboard. Okay, cool. Um, so there are three checks in here. Four check, uh, four checks in the exterior. Three checks in the exterior. Four checks within the sewers. And I'm trying to count the interior. One, two. Yeah, one, two, three. Five checks uh, within the interior. So we're going to be here for a while, possibly. Uh, we can't check all of them, though. We can only check one check right now within the interior because, well, we don't have access to the rest of it. What will give us access to the rest of it though, of all things? Oh wait, no, we can check two checks. Uh, cause, yeah. I keep thinking, oh hey, yeah, we need hookshot for that one. No, we don't need hookshot for that one. I'll mark off Great Fairy's Mask in just a moment. Yeah, 20 rupees is pretty nice. Bomb chews don't need those. I don't think I've ever used bomb chews in rando. Okay, that's actually a nice find. Because uh, I want to do the um, Protect Romani Ranch minigame, I'm going to slow down time.
it's not often you get to see um, the supers like this in randomizer. So everyone, just like, you know, bask in this, ba uh, bathe in the glory of this. While well, you can, because this is like the one time you'll probably ever get to see it. Oh, they actually get up in this in Majora's Mask, I had no idea. <laughs> uh, where is this guard? Is she coming in this direction or not? Doesn't matter, she's gone. She's shot. She's out cold. She's had a few too many to drink. Okay, so... I think I might just, like get this hook. Okay, so if that's the hook shot, I'm gonna get the one. Yeah, if that's the hook shot, I am going to get that one egg and leave immediately because it is almost time for the ranch protection. Vanilla hook shots. I repeat, vanilla shots. I rolled this. So I want to check one thing. Is Romani in here? Yep. Cool. That means we're in. That means we're on time. So that's what I'm gonna do is gonna put this we're gonna get this at the ready. So this is a song from a more recent Zelda game. Should we play this entire mini game like this? Potluck? Let's see if we can get anything. So there's that one that's like behind the that one. I usually have to get that one first. If I can get it, we'll get it. Okay, we did it. It's cool. Dig Dogger dislikes loud sounds. I was gonna put that out there. Thank you. 
think of it this way, Z1R has much less vari- uh, Potentially has less variants than what can be rolled in MMR, so... Yeah. Cool, I think we're safe. Just gonna do this sexy dance to seduce the rest of the ghosts, uh, aliens. Oh, never mind, I scared them off. But that song was the final boss theme from. Uh, I'm trying to think. Breath of the Wild. Okay, since we can't seduce ghosts, may as well turn to the second best thing in the world women. <laughs> Did I say ghosts again? I meant aliens. I do appreciate that, because that's a good item. <laughs> uh, that's just some interest. Now let us go to Great Bay Coast. Okay, so since we're back here, there is like one egg I didn't get. So I'm gonna go get that one egg, and then we're gonna return to the observatory and put that egg in a tank. As you usually do with eggs. I think what I'll do as well... Um, is after this, I will go towards, go and do the two, no, I'm going to go do Great Bay Temple first. Great Bay Temple is probably one of the more execution heavy temples within any Majora's Mask run. Uh, I'm not sure what the rule set. I'm not sure how it looks within, like you know, the standard any percent run since I haven't seen one in a while. But you're going to see some of the most. I don't want to say insane movement, but some of the most interesting movements in a run. No, a Mozart music movement is usually amazing, not awesome. 
Though Beethoven is where the real movements are, see, for example, Moonlight Sonata, third movement. Or, as it's more officially referred to as, Beethoven's Piano Sonata No. 14, Op. 27, No. 2 in C-sharp minor, Moonlight Sonata, third movement. Anyway, um, there are three checks left we can make within here, so we're going to do those. Oops. Okay, I'm surprised that worked. I actually did have Moonlight Sonata as a possible song to be rolled for the boss music, but I just didn't get it uh, in this scene, unfortunately. It's a mouthful, but that's the official title, so, you know, may as well refer to it as what it is officially referred to as. I believe it would be called Sunshine Sonata. Okay, let's go with you, you, and you. Just get the heck out of this world for now, please. Well, um, crap. You should see if that username is available, I might take it. Because, I mean, I got like a, the, I got... It probably will be. Uh, but yeah, because, you know, you know what you don't want to see? Hookshot in a vanilla location. So this fight's funny. If you have Great Fairy Sword, and I think maybe Guild Sword as well, if you just hold forward and press the button the sword is assigned to, if she doesn't guard, uh, you can kill her in one hit. looked very displeased. Kick and da 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 da. <gasps> Holy! Sh that works apparently. That doesn't work, evidently. Yeah. 
So this just completely skips a boss. Uh, there are, I want to say, three battles in this area. Uh, against... Uh, three battles in this area against Garuda Pirates. Uh, we only have to do one of them because there is no way to skip for that one. That one. We're gonna go do the last one now. Get the last egg within this area. Okay, so remember what I said earlier about doing, um, remember what I said earlier about doing that dungeon, Great Bay Temple. I think I'll hold off on it for now. Uh, because, you know, it's kind of a longer dungeon, and I kind of want to get the land title, no, the swamp title deed from Kremia. Oh, and I still have to mark this off on the tracker. There we go. Now it's knocked off. Sonata of Awakening. Okay, there we go. More bomb chews. After this, we are heading to Milk Road. And, uh, doing Chromia's carriage. After Chromia's carriage, we are actually going to be heading off to Icana. No, 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 no. We're going to be doing another minigame, uh, but it's one that's been altered for quality of life purposes. There's gold dust. We can sell that for a lot of money. Making a lot of progress. Now this is the biggest, this is the scariest part of Majora's Mask Randomizer. It's a massive learning curve. You can do one thing. There's so many checks, there are 405 total checks in the randomizer. 
some of them have been neglected in this before reasons of um, it's bad. And we don't want to do it, such as Andrew and Cafe. That is a long ass side quest no one wants to do. And uh, yeah. So that's been neglected from the randomized completely. But yeah. Think again. Don't you know what you get said? Yeah. Da -da -da. Uh, what's the lyrics? And anyone's like give like posting in chat so I can sing along. Don't actually do that. You're gonna make like my chat lock look like a mess. <laughs> but yeah. Um, this uh, so this would possibly be better on boss music as it is normally a battle song, but it just fits better with mini games I find. Oh, I don't go down this path often. Nice. I'm surprised I managed to get through that one. Yes, uh, rhythm games such as Persona 5, Dancing in Starlight. Which does indeed include this song, unsurprisingly. So, um... After I can switch, thank you. That's a check most people normally wouldn't make unless they're like running out of options. I think that if I'm just there, I may as well. It's a time sink, sure, but you know, just may as well. It's a good trio to have. Eight hundred, okay. So that gold dust we found is going to be very helpful because we can net turn that in for exactly two hundred rupees, and then we can see what's on bank three. Maybe it's light arrows, maybe it's not. Another path that is just generally a good thing to find would be the Fierce Deities Mask, but, you know, I don't know where that is. Hello, talk to me please, I would like to go to town. Actually, wait, before I want to go to town, I want to put on where this. So this is the one use of the mask, I believe, other than crying. Uh, it will stop these enemies from attacking you. So I'm just going to put my controller down. And look what's up, because I am... So how's everyone doing today? On this wonderful night. 
here in the pl here in the place where kangaroos are literally our roommates, uh, it is 3:11 a.m. So about an hour ago, the Majora's Mask randomizer weekly race. Um, it's a big race that happens weekly, as the name implies. Uh, started, and I'm sacrificing the weekly in favor of this. Um, it is impossible to kill them. This is literally just an auto scroller. And and title deed. Swamp title deed done. Time is set in game. It is seven. Okay. Cool, I will come back later. How's that sound? I got an idea. Uh, I want these 40 rupees, no, at least 30. Game, you're not helping. I just want to point that out, so you're not helping a lot. There we go. Now, Lens of Truth may have been necessary for one check. So, Mount Mountain Village earlier was uh, declared not useful by the game itself. But there is one other check that uses bomb, the, the, uh, the Lens of Truth. And it's the boy Shiro. Okay, so let's get the Lens of Truth ready. Ew. Okay, and yeah. I also forgot to mark long, uh, the big magic from earlier. So let's mark that. Oh, Epona, you absolute god. Okay, I'm cursed now apparently. Like, I just genuinely cannot use my sword. Uh, I'm gonna want this and the Garo's mask. Okay, wow, screw you, ghost. S okay, so this has, for whatever reason, not had the music changed, okay. Uh, the music would change there normally, I don't know why it hasn't. Help! 
Okay, can you just like piss off? Oh my god. So I'll explain, so uh, you'll see what this is for in a moment. This is not at all required, it just makes my life... I would make it, I would say, easier, but it really isn't easy right now. There we go. That's not logically required, but... Hey. It's something you can do, so may as well. Speaking of Oct actually, while I'm here, I think I need I think I need thirty rupees. Yep, thank you for that. Can you please drop some roots? Thank you. Cool. There we go. So yeah, this is just a uh, like mini boss rush against the post this is from Ocarina of Time. They still have the same tactics and um, patterns from the last from Ocarina of Time. It's just a matter of doing a lot of waiting. This fight goes by much faster if you have light arrows, which we very clearly do not have. Okay, and that's that. 50 rupees, okay. Okay, let's go. So, earlier on in, the, in this uh, seat, I said, there is a one check that Song of Storms grants us, and we're going to go do that check right now. Uh, let's get you this. Oh, and because it was funny, I figured, hey, I want to replace this song with the funny song from Ocarina of Time that sounds very similar. Uh, from Mario 64 that sounds very similar. Now we wait.
and I have dropped my controller. There we go. I have now picked up my controller again, and that is not ten. That is not light arrows. Uh, light arrows is basically the only item we are missing uh, from being able to finish the seed. Oh no, light arrows and the captain's hat. There we go, frame perfect trick right there actually. Uh, before I actually do this area... Cool, let's leave this area. I can't do anything in this area, but, well, I can do things later on. So, yeah, I think I might come back to this area in just a moment. go up. Nope. And kick. And what's this? Okay, cool. Couldn't do a few more checks in the, uh, within this general vicinity. Uh, in that cave is five checks, but you can't check either of those checks because you need the light arrows to do so, so they're out of the question. Let's go oops, let's go check the graveyard. Oh wait, I need bombs. Silly me. So depending on the day, uh, you get you have access to a different grave, and this is also another uh, grotto I didn't know existed until I played Randomizer. I tried. You can usually stop um, Kita. I think I think their name's Kita by um, hitting them with a bomb. But I very clearly do not have that luxury this time. Cool, and that's done. That's the entire boss battle. Uh, Great Fairy's sword just completely wrecks this boss. And apparently I can't uh, do any normal jump to save my life. You want to something there, Panzer? <laughs> so 
so I may not need that, but I have gotten it just for the sake of what if. Oh yeah, and these guys are racist, so for whatever reason... Ah, uh, they only talk to Human Link. I'm just gonna get this for something I'm gonna do right after this. I hope you guys um, like person that's last surprise arranged because it's the last. Because after this, that's gonna be wouldn't hear it for one last time. This is one of the best arrangers ever. And finally, go on. We didn't have um, Link's Awakening within the Zelda block, but that's as much representation of Link's Awakening we will be getting this entire seed, I believe. This entire um, marathon. And from that, we get just another piece of heart. Ew. But hey, that, we got to hear the entire arrangement of uh, Tifa's theme, so that's pretty cool. That's the wrong song. There we go. This is the last time we're hearing last surprise everyone, so say your prayers if you like this song. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, come on. No, cool.
Well, hopefully I can make up for the lost time. Uh, with this massive estimate. After this, we're going to be doing some dungeon diving. And we're going to be starting with... Um... Whoa, that's close. Go P from your biggest fan. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's kind of exactly where I need to go anyway. So yeah, we're going to be starting off this dungeon dive with, um, Grey Bay Temple, because, um, that could potentially have the last two items we need. There's light arrows. So all we need now is the captain's hat. And keep in mind, we have uh, most areas of this game open. So we're in for a wild ride. Oh, I should just check how much bombs I have, because I will need them for this dungeon. Just not for the traditional use. Uh, yep. Yep, cool. Yeah, that's enough for me. That's enough bombs, so that's good. So there is a 50-50 chance of this dungeon. It'll have either music from Aquas and Zo or Zonus, and this is Aquas. Wait, nope. This is a new trick I recently learned. called Gorn Water Wheel because you get on the water wheel and skip that air and just completely skip that. There is another trick of another way of doing that where you will use where you will jump on the water wheel as a human and then use it. I think it's, a, it's either it's somewhere between one and eight frames as well I know. Uh that's all I know, and uh, I don't like doing that method because it's stupidly precise to me at least. The only problem with Gore and Water Wheel is that now I need to get another glitch uh, in conjunction with it. Or else uh, it'll all be for naught. Another skip I mean, not a glitch. And we're going to be trying it now. One, two, three. There we go. First try. So if you don't get this, uh, then go and water kills nothing, because then you will need to like press that switch down there, which we can skip. 
No, this water dungeon is not bad. I will fight you for that. Like, physically fist fight. Um, I love this dungeon. It's probably my favorite dungeon from this game. Here's another trick you can do with this with this dungeon. This dungeon is good when it comes to tricks. Water movement in this game is fluent, dude. It is it's the most fluid water movement I've ever felt. Think about it, it's MMR uh no MM3D. Completely screwed up water movement. Okay, there we go. Please be captain's hat. I just want the captain's hat. Whoops. So this dungeon um, has a lot of one thing uh, in go mode, and that's uh, void uh, warps and voiding out. Because you're supposed to go around all these all these different areas and, pre and press all these switches, uh, this, is the, this would normally be the last door you enter. So, uh, voiding out uh, would be very helpful, but because we do, uh, don't have the captain's hat, we are going to be checking every chest. Uh, that, every chest that would contain an item. Okay, now we're going to equip this because this is about to become really helpful. We are thinking of Captain in two very different, in two very different ways. Um, so, oops, this is the mini boss of the dungeon. It's called Boss. People usually avoid it. Because it just, it's a stupid boss to do. It takes stupidly long sometimes. Having the Great Fairy Sword makes this fight much easier. Makes it so much faster as well. Whoops. And that is just a ruby. Cool. One place I do not want to find the cabinet at right now though, especially would be on the doggy on the dog race minigame. I don't know how to do that skip. Oh, there is a skip there where you can just completely uh, skip what I'm about to do.
you know, you know, I'm lucky that I set an estimate this high, because, oh yeah, I don't have to do that in this, um, because I was not expecting uh, a C to go this horribly, because I rolled such a terrible seed. Thanks, my say, I appreciate it. Your puns are always the best, usually, sometimes. <gasps> a stray fairy. It's like I've been avoiding them or something, the seed. What the f- Okay, cool. So you can actually get on that water wheel and um, ride it up, but I don't know how I missed it. I just completely went through it. So yeah, we're gonna be doing this instead. The quote unquote slow rounds. Oh no, I think like literally any rando C I will roll, regardless of where it is, it's usually bad. Whoops. There was one I rolled just like it was there was a one I rolled that was like alright. And I can't do this C to save my I can't do this to save my life, come on. Okay, if I fail this one more time, I'm just, just going to do it. What the hell? How do you even jump at a diagonal angle like that? I've never seen that happen. There we go. I'm just going to blame the 3... the 3am. 3 everything that's happening right now. For making me tired. And uh, messing this up. Cool, I'll be... Fuck this game, pardon the language. I think that's the first F bomb I've dropped this entire thing. We'll just do it the entire the dev intended way, as disgusting as it is. Because it wastes time, believe it or not. I wanna have fun and go fast, but Nintendo's like, no, you can't do that. Yeah. I've been trying to limit my swearing as much as possible. It's just a problem uh, with all Australians. We just have a natural in, um, tendency to drop an F bomb every second word. So, yeah. But, yeah, hopefully, that's the first and last time you'll ever hear that word on this here. This game annoys me. So, fire arrows adds nothing to this fight. It's just that I'm already at f selected of fire arrows and um, I've infinite magic, so I like, may as well use it while I can. Oh, MM Camp. Uh, camera is terrible, Majora's Mask. Like, I've seen worse, but. For, some, for whatever reason, Majora's Mask Camera just like, likes to do whatever it wants, you know?
Yep, I got eaten, as I was expecting. Basically, the camera is Majima anywhere from Yakuza 1. No, Koami 1, Koami 1, not... Yeah. Okay, where is Georg? And that's Great Bay Temple done. Mm, yep. Okay, fellas, let's play a game. Will I find... Um... Will I find Captain Tat in this dungeon? Let's hope so, because I do not want to spend four hours on this game. <laughs> okay, this is another song I composed for this um, for MMR actually. It is a remix of Homicide from Bang and Number 2. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, here we go, prediction started. I would have laughed if that was Captain Tat right there. Well, I'm also obliged to bet against my myself, Maite. Because this dungeon, while it does have a lot of locations to check, it's the same amount of locations as any dungeon. It can be so it can be it within any dungeon. <laughs> oh my god, how can you bet that many channel points? I didn't think that was possible. Whoa. 
Excuse me. There we go. All very sad. So the final item will be on the dungeon boss. So there's two items left. There's the the compass chest and the final boss chest. So yeah. Chest. That's Captain's hat. We're in go mode, everyone. That's a very scary thing for me to do. <laughs> um, I'm still not used to that doing that doing that trick. You let my say down. How are you going to explain yourself? So we're going to beat this dungeon and then we're going to go back to day one. Crap. Also, let's get you ready. Forty-two thousand eight hundred fifty channel points. My goodness! Oh my God! Feast DT mask as well. I could not ask for a better end game. I've been... Uh, that's assuming I have enough time. Ironically enough, at this pace, I don't know when I'll finish. Because Majora's Mask is Majora's Mask. It's a crap game when it wants to be, which is all the time. And here's music we didn't get to hear earlier. Pardon me, I just want like these arrows right here. Thank you. Hopefully we can get the schedule back on track. With the fierce duty mask, there actually is a chance now. I'll say that. 
I was gonna say, do not bet on it because I do not like the chances right now. That real bomb she's gonna blow, blow me up. And uh, let's get Captain's hats on and see. Yes, it does. Um, Panzer. Then start spamming the MM emotes. Yeah, that's a good emote. It's cute. That's exactly how we look, honestly, sometimes. off annoying piece of crap oh I don't have unlimited magic anymore I just realized You guys don't see the biggest uh, disappearing act of all time. So uh, I'm gonna say it's right now, Striser. I don't think I will get the schedule back on time. I think I may be able to get it back. I think I may be able to help to getting it back on time, but I don't think I will be able to get it back on time. Case in points. I can't do this one frame glitch, uh, skip, trick, whatever you want to call it. It's not like it's it's not like it being one frame is the problem or anything. But yeah, I really plus I'm kind of tired, so sleep is good right now. Door, please. I was spamming a. Hey! Good fight. Don't mind Dolphin doing its thing and just like freezing for a good five seconds every now and then.
Here we go, perfect music for an ascent. Don't mind me, it's not like I just forgot that song I was playing a second ago out of nowhere. Okay, yep. And yep. <gasps> that freaking case! Game will let me do the thing I enjoy, which is going fast. Or a mask. Hi, Beamos. Yeah, uh, I almost ran off the platform there. Now there is one thing you always do with MMR, with Majora's Mask speedruns, uh, Majora's Mask randomizer speedruns at least, and the final dungeon, and it's set it to night three. Yes, this proved to be one of the most awful seeds I've ever played, and I had the pleasure of um, exhibiting it to a bunch, to a massive audience of I don't know how many people are watching. But um, regardless, I had the pleasure of exposing how good this game can be to an audience of people. I used good in the lightest way possible, by the way. Can't 
Okay, so I'm gonna do one attempt at this, and if I don't get it, then screw it. I'm gonna just wuss out and do it the easy way, and that's not what I want. Holy crap, I did it. I feel like that shouldn't have worked, but it did. <sighs> Might say, I'm learning, are you proud of me? Finishing um, this dungeon earlier than anticipated. You really? It's like the other day you said Terry Nigma's music is overrated or something like that. So if anyone loves Terra Nigma's soundtrack and doesn't think it's over and uh well yeah. Well yeah, I just called out who to point fingers at and yell at so you know. Hey, same diff. Terra Enigma was so underrated, it didn't even get an official release here. No, 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 it didn't get an official release in the US. Uh, I got a release only in Australia and Europe and Japan, I believe. Yes, you got the secret of whatever more. Yeah, but Terra Enigma is just like overall looks better, you know? Oh yeah. Oh, I, I completely forgot about the GBA ports of Rockman and Forte, honestly. Yeah, and for whatever reason, Tengu Man re uh, reappears in um in the GBA ports. Yes, unfortunate. It's something weird. Like we got Terra Enigma over Chrono Trigger when you know, so we missed out until like 2009 or whatever uh, when the DS port was released.
How does it fall short? Die, mother bugger. We're just about to disappoint this quay by disappearing. So, um, I have an announcement to make. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog is a... No, um, the announcement I actually have to make is that we actually may have the schedule returned back to where it should be. Any chance I get to, um, any chance I get to meme Eggman's announcement, I will. Because it's just so quality, you know? Six minutes, that's more than enough time. I still actually have to play SA2B. I just I just wanna say special thanks to Adol for giving me the SDOT. <laughs> um so to make this marathon get back on schedule. Dun 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 Um Okay, this is the final. This is the final uh, phase of this boss. So, let's all prepare for time. And time. What a seed, what a seed. <laughs> you turned that around, like Phoenix Wright turned about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, I'm, uh, I'm still reeling that hook shot was in its middle location. That's like you'll never see. It, 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 the game did try to throw you some trolls, but then Right at the end, it just threw you. It's like, oh wait, we're under a time crunch here. Have everything you could want to beat the game. <laughs> really, really did turn out like that. Oh, I, thank you so much for running. This was a true pleasure to watch because I, like you said, I've never seen this before. Like maybe once briefly. This was just a treat to watch. Yeah. 
there is a Discord community ver that is very well dedicated and very helpful when it comes to running this, uh, learning this game. So if it wasn't for them, well, then I wouldn't have done this slow. I could have done faster, but I made a lot of silly choices when it comes to routing. But hey, it is what it is. Thank you so much again, Nika, for uh, bringing this to us. And uh, everyone, stay tuned. We are coming up next with uh, one more Legend of Zelda game for the block, Breath of the Wild, brought to us uh, soon by Destructor. Thanks uh, for having me. Yeah, no problem. 